In the turbulent aftermath of World War I, Italy found itself in a whirlwind of economic strife, social unrest, and political instability. This challenging environment set the stage for the rise of one of the most notorious figures in modern history, Benito Mussolini. This video explores how and why Mussolini was able to seize power, transforming Italy into a fascist state. Post-World War I Italy World War I left Italy in a state of great distress. Despite being on the winning side, Italy did not receive the territorial gains it had been promised, which led to widespread feeling of betrayal and anger, a sentiment known as the mutilated victory. Additionally, the war severely battered the Italian economy, leading to high unemployment and soaring inflation. These conditions created fertile ground for social unrest. The Italian Social Context The years following the war saw increased tension in Italy. Workers, unhappy with their conditions, held strikes and factory occupations, while veterans felt ignored and marginalized. Furthermore, the Italian government, consisting of a series of weak coalitions, struggled to address these crises effectively. This political instability made many Italians yearn for a new leader who could restore order and national pride. Benito Mussolini's Early Life and Politics Born in 1883 in Predapio, Italy, Mussolini was the son of a blacksmith and a teacher. He initially embraced socialism and became a prominent socialist journalist. However, his support for Italy's participation in World War I, which contradicted the socialist doctrine of international solidarity, led to his expulsion from the Socialist Party. After the war, Mussolini capitalized on the widespread dissatisfaction among veterans and the middle class. In 1919, he founded the Fascist Party. Mussolini's charisma and skills as an orator attracted a growing following as he proposed a platform of national renewal, intense nationalism, and opposition to communism and socialism. The use of violence and the black shirts. Mussolini's rise to power was marked by the use of violence. His supporters, known as black shirts, were mostly war veterans who used intimidation violence, and even murder to silence political opponents and destabilize the government. This paramilitary wing helped Mussolini project an image of strength and decisiveness, appealing to many Italians who were tired of instability and feared a communist revolution. The March on Rome By 1922, Mussolini's fascist party had become a significant force in Italian politics, bolstered by the support of many in the business community and the conservative right who saw fascism as a bulwark against socialism. In October of that year, Mussolini threatened a march on Rome to claim the government for his party. Fearing a civil war, King Victor Emmanuel III decided to avoid confrontation. Instead of ordering the army to stop Mussolini, he invited him to form a government. Mussolini as Prime Minister once in power, Mussolini moved quickly to establish a dictatorship. Initially, he formed a coalition government, but he soon began to dismantle the democratic institutions of Italy. In 1924, the murder of socialist politician Giacomo Matteotti, who had openly accused Mussolini's fascists of electoral fraud, sparked a crisis. However, Mussolini's bold speech in early 1925, where he dared the authorities to prosecute him, only solidified his control as he began to rule by decree. Establishing the Fascist State Over the next few years, Mussolini eliminated all political opposition through enforced fascist loyalty oaths, censorship, and a secret police force known as OVRA. He also implemented policies aimed at reviving the economy and infrastructure, which, combined with his propaganda, helped maintain popular support for some time. The Downfall and Death of Benito Mussolini Benito Mussolini's grip on power began to weaken as World War II progressed. Italy's military failures in Greece and North Africa and the Allies' successful invasion of Sicily in 1943 diminished Mussolini's popularity and credibility. In July 1943, the Grand Council of Fascism, which included many of Mussolini's longtime supporters, voted him out of power. 
Shortly after this vote, King Victor Emmanuel III had Mussolini arrested. After Mussolini's arrest, Italy signed an armistice with the Allies, switching sides in the war. Meanwhile, Mussolini was rescued from prison by German commandos in a daring raid orchestrated by Adolf Hitler. Hitler wanted to keep Italy in the war on the side of the Axis powers, so he set Mussolini up as the head of the Italian Social Republic, a puppet state in northern Italy controlled by the Nazis. However, by 1945, the war was clearly lost for the Axis powers. As the Allies pushed into northern Italy, Mussolini attempted to flee to Switzerland, but was captured by Italian partisans near the village of Dongo on Lake Como. On April 28, 1945, Mussolini and his mistress Clara Patacci were executed by the partisans. The next day, their bodies, along with those of other executed fascists, were hung upside down in a public square in Milan to confirm their deaths and mark the end of fascist rule in Italy. Mussolini's violent death was a stark end to his brutal regime and marked an important moment in Italian history, symbolizing the fall of fascism and the country's rebirth in the post-war period. The circumstances of his demise remind us of the volatile nature of political power and the potential consequences of authoritarian rule. Mussolini's rise to power in Italy was facilitated by a combination of economic hardship, social unrest and political instability post. World War I. His charismatic leadership, promises of stability and glory, and ruthless suppression of opposition played central roles in establishing his regime. Mussolini's story serves as a poignant reminder of how fragile democratic institutions can be in the face of charismatic leadership and societal turmoil.